<laughs> Hi! Hello everyone! Welcome back! This might be a very weird video and a very different video, but don't worry. It, it'll be a good one. I say as I fuck up and get literally one message. All right, cool. A few days ago, I uh, asked you guys if you guys had any questions regarding my main native language. For those of you that don't know, uh, I put in my description down below that English isn't my first nor my second language. And a lot of people are kind of surprised by that because my English accent or my <laughs> English American accent is very good <laughs> compared to what a lot of people expected me to sound like. And don't worry. I will uh, explain to you all why it's good in a minute. But before we get into the community poll or the community post that I made a few days ago with the questions you guys answered, let me tell you guys what my native language is. My native language is Papiamento. For those of you that don't know, uh, my native language is Papiamento. And for those of you that don't know where what Papiamento is, Allow me to explain. Um, espero que sonando water, pero me dá para 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 um tiki. Diz para você não vai pensar like com esta zona para 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 All right? Para 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 mi inglés está hopi bon, tanto hasta americano na y en el fin Inglaterra también te quiero con mi inglés está hopi bon, pero el eh, eh, motivo de cómo mi inglés está hopi bon, te vas a ver hoy me doy chiquito, hoy me doy manera un muy chiquito, a uh, me doy la voz hopi televisión, ya, más si más si en inglés vi televisión, está hopi extraño mi sa pero ya, yeah. there you go, a little bit of movement for you guys. That's gonna be a fucking bitch to subtitle. But yes, as I was saying, I learned my English through TV from watching a lot of different shows. I guess the show that I have to give a very big thank thank you to, which is gonna sound very fucking weird, believe me, was The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. That was an old Western, like, uh, cowboy movie. I don't remember if there was a lot of talking in there, but I just remember learning English from that. It was a, that was my very first exposure to English as a language. And ever since then, I just started mimicking the way that people would talk on TV. So, for example, I, I was a very, very huge fan of Walker, Texas Ranger when I was a kid because, I don't know, I just like shooty shooty bang bangs, you know? Before anybody asks, I know how to speak four languages. <laughs> yeah, Papiamento being one of them, English being one of them, but the other two people don't really know about. And that is Spanish and Dutch. Oh man, I'm gonna have to start speaking Dutch again. Hello, my name is Noble. Uh, yeah. Ik kan Nederlands spreken. Nederlands voor mij is niet makkelijk, maar het is echt vervelend, want je moet heel veel regels herinneren. Je moet, uh, ja, het is een hele geboel. Nederlands klinkt alsof je op kogem koopt. Maar uh, ja, Nederlands is eigenlijk mijn tweede... Nee, nee, mijn tweede taal. Ja, eigenlijk mijn tweede taal, want we, we gebruiken Nederlands heel veel in school. Man, this video is going to be fucking shit, because I'm going to have to subtitle all this shit. But another language that I know how to speak is Spanish. Now, I'm not going to speak it on, on the video. You guys have to just trust me on this. Hola a todos. La razón que no lo quería hablar español es porque era vago. Así que aquí está mi voz en español. Soy muy consciente de mi español. Y es por eso que no me gusta hablar español. But essentially, I learned Spanish from uh, family members because my grandfather was from Venezuela. So obviously he didn't speak a lick of Papimento, so we had to fucking speak Spanish with him. And sometimes he didn't even understand. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you guys go. I know how to speak four languages. It's very funny. Now, let's go on to the community post now, shall we? So a few days ago, I, uh, oh, wait, I forgot my stream labs. <clears throat> So a few days ago on my community post or my community tab, I asked you guys if you guys had any questions regarding my native language or any other language that I know. Obviously, before this, people didn't know I spoke four languages, so uh, it was kind of in the air what language I knew. I did tell people that I know more than two languages, but a lot of people thought that they, they had like a lot of high hopes for me. I want to know more about the ages you learned your other languages and how you retain all your knowledge, accent, skill over time. 
So, um, when it comes to Puppet Mento, I've learned Puppet Mento since I was fucking born. So, I mean, pretty much forever. And the way that I would retain knowledge or the accent or the skill over time is just by talking to people. Obviously, Puppet Mento is something that I use every single day. So, obviously, it's fresh in my mind no matter what. So, yeah. How long does it take for you to learn a new language? Also, what methods of learning would you do you find most effective? And can you recommend programs or services for a wannabe language lover? So, obviously, when it takes to learn a new language, I learned a lot of these languages, actually all of these languages, when I was younger. So, probably around the ages of two to around nine. And around those times and around that period... I started to kind of perfect the language, learn grammar in school and ways to write them, etc. So for me, it took me about, well, I guess seven years to pretty much perfect these languages and speak them pretty fluently. I mean, obviously, uh, I still have a lot, uh, a lot wrong, obviously, with my English grammar, obviously. But over time, you start to forget a lot of grammar. And I start to make a lot of mistakes because I'm fucking human. In terms of methods of learning, I guess it's just to talk to people if you're learning a language talking to people is probably the best uh, uh it's probably the best way for you to just talk to someone yeah it's just for you to learn the language it's just to talk to someone if you make mistakes hey you made mistakes but that's the part of learning aside from programs i don't really know any other programs i'm trying to learn like a, a, a fifth and a sixth language because i actually had a biology teacher back in high school who who knew eight languages obviously one of those languages was German, and German and Dutch are very, very similar. And and Portuguese is also very similar to Papamento, but, I, you know, hey, he learned eight languages, let's just say that. And I kind of I looked up to that, and I wanted to learn a lot of other languages because it would be fun and, and a cool party trick to just bring out a bunch of different languages, you know? But, uh, yeah, services that you can learn language. I guess Duolingo is the best one. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I don't really use a lot of like programs honestly i just read a lot of books i guess a lot of books in a lot of languages and a lot of like books specifically made for kids to learn obviously it's good to go back to the basics and to just sit down read a book uh in a different language made for kids so you can understand it a lot better no just get the grasp of it and then you start building up is it truly easier learning language from the same root, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, etc., or it takes the uh, or or it takes the same? I obviously think that in terms of like papiamento, when it comes to Spanish and Portuguese, it's pretty quick because those are papiamento is like a language that has a lot of words borrowed from Spanish and Portuguese to the point where now whenever you would meet somebody who speaks Portuguese on the street and they would talk in Portuguese, it kind of sounds like Papimento. It scarily sounds like Papimento. There is actually a video by a dude called Lang Focus who he, he talks about um, Papimento as a language. He actually goes into the history. Let me see if I can find this fucking video. Here we go. So this video in particular... Uh, he does talk about it in a very specific way, but there are some nuances that I think he misses. But obviously, this is a really good video. If you want to go watch that, go watch it. It's an amazingly good video, and it's well worth your time. Hey, no, well, I'm curious if there is a word in your language that means nothing bad but sounds completely inappropriate in English. For example, in my native language, uh, the informal word for you... Oh, I'm not going to say that word. I don't going to cancel... Sounds like a lot like the N-word. Yes, I think I've heard this before where... Um, I think I've heard this before. It was like a controversy in like the Korean scene. I'm not too sure about that. But yeah, I've, I've heard about this before. But I don't think we have a word that sounds bad uh, in English. Because a lot of our words are, are like a mishmash. Our, uh, our language is like a mishmash of a lot of different words. So I don't think there's anything bad. I mean, obviously, if you get a bad word, it means a bad word. But I don't think anything that we have resembles that. I, I don't think we do. If I do, then I'll put it up on the screen right now. If there's not, then fuck me dick butt on the screen, I guess. Which language do you think has the most interesting idioms? My favorite is from Poland is, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. That is definitely Dutch. Dutch has a lot of really, really interesting idioms to the point where it has way too much. And whenever you're talking to a Dutch person, they use it very frequently. Here we go. We have a few here. To fall with the door into the house. 
Dutch translation, met the dirt and heis valen. Meaning, to get straight to the point, I'm telling you, man, whenever you talk to a Dutch person and whenever they try to speak English, they try to translate everything like to the point and then they come up with this shit. I'm like, what the fuck do you fucking mean? Well, yeah, Dutch definitely has like the most interesting idioms. I don't think Spanish has that much or I don't think government has that much, but I definitely think Spanish does. If it's okay for you privacy, what language do you use when talking to your family and or relatives? I use Papiamento a lot when I'm talking to my family and my relatives. Obviously Papiamento mixed in with English because certain words that we don't know, we tend to forget a lot of words in Papiamento so we replace them with English or we replace them with Spanish words or we replace them with Dutch words, etc. So it's kind of like if you don't know a word in Papiamento you could just replace it and it's pretty much the same thing. That's kind of like what I like about Papiamento. But when it comes to like specific family members, you can't really speak with them in like a mishmash of Papiamento and another language. You have to speak like Papiamento Criollo, which pretty much means you have to like, all all of your sentence has to be in Papiamento and in perfect Papiamento or else they will not understand what the fuck you mean. How many languages do you speak and what is your native language? I've went over this already. My native language is Papiamento. I've given you guys a little bit of an example. And uh, yeah, I guess speak four languages. Learning a fifth and a sixth one right now. This might sound super fucking cringy because it sounds very weeby. But I'm trying to speak um, Japanese and Russian because I think those are very interesting languages and polar opposite of any language that I know right now. And also, it would be pretty fucking cool to just go to Japan and speak Sp uh, Japanese. Speak Spanish in Japan? Do they even speak Spanish in Japan? Hopefully. That'd be pretty fucking funny. What language were easier to learn in the writing system and which were easier for spoken words? How long does a language acquisition take for you? Which language took the longest and shortest time to learn? Uh, the language that took the longest time for me to learn was definitely Dutch because, I mean, that's what we use in school. And sometimes we are not native Dutch speakers, but we catch on pretty fucking quick to the point where we have Dutch teachers that are very surprised that we speak Dutch very fluently because, I mean, not a lot. I'm not, I don't want to sound mean, but a lot of Dutch people kind of look down on us. I do not want to sound mean, but that's how it feels sometimes. But yeah, uh, definitely Dutch is the uh, Dutch is probably the hardest one in terms of the writing system and in terms of the longest one to learn. English is definitely the easiest one for me personally when it comes to the writing system and to learn as well because I've learned it since I was a kid. What language do you use the most? Have you ever accidentally slipped into a different language during a conversation? I use Papiamento a lot and Papiamento has a lot of mixed ma mishmash of words so it's kind of it's kind of unavoidable to just it's kind of unavoidable to to not try to slip into a different language when you're speaking Papiamento because Papiamento is just a mishmash of different words. You can speak it. You you can you can speak half of your sentence in Papiamento and half of the sentence in another language and people will understand you. You don't got to worry. <laughs> if you speak Italian, what's your thought on it? If you don't, would you consider learning it? Another question would be, which language, in your opinion, is the most practical to use in the universal language would be chosen? Do I don't speak Italian? I wish I do. Italian sounds like one of those one of those threatening languages, you know? If somebody comes up to you, you just go, Hey, bada paschetti! I know that's not how Italian people speak. I'm so sorry. But it just, it sounds kind of menacing to me. I mean, Italian sounds like, hey, I'm from Joycey, you know? Teach us how to curse. Or if it's a serious video, how to say emergency. Oh, this is definitely not a serious video, so I can teach you how to curse. So one word that I have to search up because I don't <laughs> know. Let me see if I can find it right here. All right, so Papimento has a very homophobic uh, uh, related cursing habit. I, I guess I could call that where a lot of our curses, yeah, they, they, uh, they, can, they can get you canceled. Let's just say that. Here we go. Here's one word that pretty much every, everybody who speaks Papi Mendo knows about, which is Pindo, which pretty much means fucking dumb fuck. <laughs> I forgot about this. What's Pindo? That's like a, that's like such a, a like, a middle schooler like insult. What's Pindo? Shut your mouth, fucker. Ah, uh, that's fucking it. And also, our equivalent of fuck you is Biden Coyo. So elegant. <laughs> and how to say emergency? Just help. Or Udami, you know? 
Oh, actually, Yudami does mean emergency. <laughs> or it means, hey, I'm in an emergency. Help me. Punt. And how badly they might translate in an effort to show versatility of language and steps if really requires. I don't know any puns in Papimento. Let me let me check that out. Huh. That's weird. I don't have any jokes in Papimento. It's very weird because Papimento is like a language that's not... It doesn't sound funny. It doesn't work well in comedy. Where English... It does because I mean everybody knows English and English has this certain tone where you can just be like hey this happened to that guy and this guy this guy punchline where's the Republic of Mendo? it's kind of like monotone so it's very I don't know it doesn't work well in comedy so do we have any puns probably but I do not remember them I am terribly sorry you know how to write well in all these languages as well which one is your favorite Seth's least favorite to have to write in my favorite language, and I also know how to write perfect in all these languages. My favorite language to write in is definitely English. I write a lot of my scripts in English, so don't worry. Uh, pretty much, I just speak English to myself. Uh, but I write a lot of my scripts in English, and English is probably one of my favorite languages to write in because it's it's very. I don't know. It makes me feel smarter, and it, it makes me it makes me retain a lot of the stuff I, I talk about. You know. My least favorite to have to write in is definitely Spanish because, I mean, it's a fucking nightmare. If you're a Spanish person, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Why the fuck do we have two... Why do we have, like, two question marks, huh? Why why do we gotta have two question marks? Why, why, why can't we just have one? Why do we gotta... Why, gotta, why do we gotta be special, you know? Grammar structure differences, direct translations, pun slash slangs. So, uh, the video that I showed you guys ago from Lang Focus, he goes well into the grammar structure differences of, like, uh, Aruban Papimento and Curacao Papimento, which I kind of forgot to mention. Aruban Bonaire, we are, it's two different dialects. It's, it's two different Papimento, and believe me, when you know somebody who's from Curacao, you know how exactly, you know exactly if they're from Curacao by the way they talk. But uh, yeah, the video by Lang Focus, he does a really good job at explaining the different uh, grammar structures and differences it, between these languages. So make sure you go and watch that. But slang in Papiamento, I guess you could say, um, I, I guess you could say, uh, do we have any slangs? Oh yeah, the word douchey. That has a lot of different meaning. Uh, douchey can mean a lot of different things. It can mean sweet as in like, oh, this candy is very sweet or and it can also mean something it can also mean a loved one when you're talking to somebody like douchey or babe and it can also mean sexy but i mean you could just call somebody sexy it's i don't know and douchey can also mean like hell yeah nice you know like you're really excited like hell yeah this is fucking douchey guy like it's shit like that what is your native language sorry if this is a right question i already answered that that my native language is papimento it's pretty obvious What's your native language? Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot a lot of these. How did you build your vocabulary reading a lot of books? I am not joking. I read a lot of books and I had to watch a lot of films in different languages. I think films will help a lot of people in different languages because, I mean, you retain a lot of the information a lot more whenever you're watching something on the screen or whenever you're hearing something. But yeah, definitely watch books, read... Uh, watch books read books watch movies listen to the different languages and listen to the ways other people talk it definitely helped any interest in dead languages dead slash ancient languages latin ancient greek sanskrit etc i kind of think papiamento is already a dead language or it's like an ancient language because it's only spoken on these three islands you're not gonna go in uh, in america and find somebody who speaks papiamento or you're gonna find a fucking community that speaks papiamento so I guess, I guess I can kind of say that's an ancient language. Um, is it a dead language? Not really. It's still fucking alive. And it probably will be alive for like the next thousand years. So help me God. Has somebody ever spoken down to you thinking that you can't understand them? Yes. A lot of Dutch people do this. <laughs> they don't do it on purpose. All right. A lot of Dutch people, whenever they come to Aruba, they think that we can't speak Dutch because Aruba isn't well known for Dutch despite being a Dutch uh, uh, island they think that we can speak English a lot better but whenever they speak Dutch around us they're in for a little bit of a surprise I remember one time I was I was um, working at the hospital and a Dutch patient was speaking Dutch and he didn't know that I could speak Dutch so he's spoken speaking Dutch to his loved ones and he said something rather not nice about me and I just turned around and went, 
oh, you, you put out my May. And the look on his face was like, oh, I'm sorry. I did not mean that in like this Dutch accent. And obviously it was all in good fun. But I mean, kind of stung a little bit. She has some curse words with us in all of them. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. So in Pavimento, obviously, going by mama, which means fuck you. Uh, fuck you means fuck you in English. Uh, puta madre, which means fucking fuck you in Spanish. <laughs> what is what is a bad word in, in Dutch? Because Dutch isn't a word. It does, Dutch isn't a language that I think of cursing in first because it's not a very threatening language. <laughs> I forgot. Sankenwasser. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. See, see what I tell you guys? Dutch doesn't sound threatening, all right? Threat. Ah, uh, yeah. Threat. Slut. Yep. Oh, <laughs> what? I forgot. That's what it, that's literally how it's spelled. Why is it, why is it so fucking funny? Oh, no, we don't want to go into the racist words. No, 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 no. But yeah, there's a, when it comes to Dutch in terms of curse words, I don't really think of Dutch when it comes to like cursing, you know? If you are, if you heard a Dutch person curse in like movies or TV shows, it's not threatening at all. It's like a puppy. It's like a puppy yapping at you. Like it's not threatening at all. Are you familiar with any conlangs? Yes. I remember when I was very young, I wanted to learn the da dragon language from Skyrim. I uh, downloaded the PDF for the language, only read two chap, uh, only read two pages, and then just forgot about it. I really do want to learn that language. I'm not gonna lie. What language has the best sexy talk? Please tell me. I gotta know. Oh, definitely. Of course, it's blue. Of course, of course. By the way, subscribe to American Suji Podcast on Twitch. Please have me on again. Please, I just want to be on that. But what language has the best sexy talk? I guess it's it's definitely Spanish. Spanish is just like one of those languages. It's like the language of love. Whenever you would speak Spanish to like, I don't know, your significant other, it's, it's definitely going to get their motor running. Do you know Japanese? No, not enough to save my life. Which is the sexy? I don't understand. What Did Blue contact you and tell you about this? Definitely Spanish. Spanish is probably the sexiest language. You do not want to flirt with somebody in Papimenta, believe me. <laughs> it's like, it's like... I don't, oh, do I want to say that? It's it's very stereotypical if I do. It's like, imagine a drunk Spanish person. It, a, a drunk, in this case, a drunk uh, uh, person from Aruba just coming up to you and just sexy talking at you, you know? It's definitely not the, uh, not the sexiest image in your mind. But yeah, that's it. Thank you all so much for all of the fucking comments that was like 20 30 comments holy shit thank you all so much hopefully you guys learned a little bit from me and uh yeah espero que vocês tenham gostado do vídeo aqui na então se vocês não gostaram please subscribe please like please share com o seu amigo na no facebook or if you don't have facebook you can do it on twitter too or fucking instagram or whatever the fuck i don't know what the cool kids use nowadays but yeah thank you for watching my video e te vero ayo